Welcome back to my tool shed. Today we'll be looking at this little device here, which is a low voltage disconnect. It's basically a relay that cuts off power to a load based on a voltage you set. And it's the very popular module that you see on a lot of DIY setups. It's the XH-M609 module. So let's have a look at my quick test setup so we understand what's going on here. We've got an SLA battery, sealed lead acid battery, and that's going into the V in of the LVD. And the V out is going to a fuse box. And then that line is powering the light and then we've got the common ground, the negative, all coming back to the negative terminal of the battery. Now, why do we need a low voltage disconnect? Well, for batteries like this without a BMS, we want to make sure it doesn't go below 50%. So this reading here is the current voltage of the battery, 12.7 volts. This light above it means that there is power flowing through the relay, which is letting this light turn on. Um, to set the, well, to check the value of the low voltage disconnect, we just press the button once and it's going to disconnect at 12.5 volts. So at 12.5 volts, this relay will click, this light turns off, and my load turns off. And when will it turn back on? Well, we check the reconnect voltage by pressing the right button once. And it says zero, zero point three. So in zero, uh, we're going to add that voltage to the disconnect voltage. So disconnect voltage was twelve point five plus zero point three. So at twelve point eight, we're going to reconnect. Now it's important you don't put the reconnect voltage too close because at the moment um, this reading of the voltage is. Probably a bit lower than the actual voltage of the battery because we're drawing a load from it. If I if I turn this off, the voltage might come up a bit because you know there's not much, there's nothing being drawn from it. So we need to account for voltage sag. So just as a demonstration, let's um, let's set the disconnect voltage to 12.7 so this thing turns off. So to do that, we double tap the left button. And then we can use these both buttons to increment or decrement the values. So if I put it to 12.7, it turns off instantly because that's what we set the disconnect voltage. And as you just saw, load disappeared and now we're at 12.9 volts. Disconnect is at 12.7 volts. And we're not going to reconnect until point 0 0.3. So we're not going to connect until we hit 13 volts. So if this is hooked up to a solid charge controller and you're getting power into it, then yeah, eventually this, this comes back on. So let's set the reconnect voltage to, if we've got a 12.7 LVD, we're going to set it to, we'll double tap the right button and set it to point two so it comes back on now we might get into a loop here because it's just uh, voltage is sagging we disconnect then the reconnect point two so it just goes in this loop so that's what i said set your reconnect voltage to something reasonable so that point four at the moment so that is a really simple guide on how to use a low voltage disconnect module but this on its own is only for really light loads like this, this USB uh, socket, power socket. Um, I don't think, I haven't checked the amperage on this, but I probably wouldn't go over 10 amps. And you can see by the size of the, the terminals. Next video, we'll talk about how to wire these LVDs to cut off high power devices like inverters. And as a sneak peek, 
we're going to use another relay to do that that can handle a bit more current but at the moment that is just a really basic guide on how to use the XH-M609 LVD low voltage disconnect module and I hope that helps anyone out there who might find that very useful and I'm going to find it useful because you know I might eventually turn this battery into a little USB charging station and I don't want the battery to go below 50% I'll set this voltage to an appropriate value and you know chuck all your phones your iPads in there and when the battery is 50% capacity this thing will turn off and I won't have to worry about draining every last bit of it and damaging it. Alright, that's all for now. I'll catch you in the next video.